Hi guys! So this video is going to be a short and sweet one and I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup storage which is in those drawers right here. Um, I have quite a big and excessive makeup collection and so I really don't find it convenient to reach for every single item that I need on a day-to-day -day basis to my big vanity so I keep my most used items in those little colorful draw drawers right here and today I'm going to be showing you what I have inside. Here I have some necessities, I have my La Mer powder, my meteorites, I have this little thingy where I keep small items like my beauty blender, my little metal palette and a lash glue and when I use lashes, lashes. This cup is for tweezers, nail files and all my lip pencils. Behind it I have a MAC makeup remover, a MAC Fix Plus, um, All Nighter by Urban Decay and my little MAC brush cleanser for spot clean which I use on a day to day basis. Right here I have my mirror and you can see me, hi, and here, let me pull back, you can see that I have my brushes, I have my face brushes and my eyes br eye brushes and my eye curler, eye curler, eyelash curler, <laughs> eye curler, eyelash curler, and I just keep it in those little clear um, cases which I find really convenient, so let's get on to what I have in those drawers. Drawers. So what I like to do is to keep them ordered according to um, a theme. So I have all basic products here, all my cheek products here, eye products and lip products. So let's dive in. Okay, so this is the first drawer which includes all my face products which I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I know it seems a lot, but I'm kind of experimenting with things because of my psoriasis, so bear with me. Um, the first thing I have here, I have here my oil control mattifier by, I have here my oil control mattifier by Burad, um, some foundations, my Giorgio Armani ones, my Guerlain BB cream, the <laughs> remains of my Laura Mercier. Um, and I have here two mineral powders, one is by Laura Mercier and one which is actually a brand new one is by Bobbi Brown. I have my MAC Prep and Prime Corrector or Brightener, I don't know how they call it, it's in the shade Bright Forecast and I love it for the under eye area. I have here some um, concealers my Maybelline AJ one and a couple of my MAC Pro Longwears which are my all-time favorite. I have a Touche Claw which this is a product that you know that I dislike but I keep it here because I want to use it up and throw it away and this is actually what I do when I find a product that I just want to get over with or is dying like this Laura Mercier foundation or the Touche Claw I just put them inside those drawers and try to use them up as frequently as I can. Um, the last thing that I have in this drawer are my bra products, which is my Lancome little kit, which I actually don't really use because I hate the colors, as you know, I did a review on that, I'll link it down below. I have my MAC Lingering Eyebrow Pencil, is my all-time favorite, and I have some Ardell Clear Brow Gel, which looks kind of disgusting. So, yeah, this is my base drawer, and this is everything I have in it. Okay, so the next door is all about cheeks, um, bronzers, highlighters, and blushes, of course. As you know, I'm a junkie, so I find it very soothing that I have only this little space in which I can store products that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, and yeah, so <laughs> it kind of soothes me that I have I, I, I can go overboard with the products that I can choose from in the morning. So the first thing is my NARS Laguna bronzer, which you all know I recently got and I've been loving. This is actually the only bronzer I've been using lately. I have my Kevin Kwan Candlelight Highlighter, which is great. You all know, and the camera won't focus, so <laughs> you'll, if you want to see swatches and stuff, I have it in my haul video, which I will link down below. I have my Bobbi Brown Brick 
shimmer brick in nectar which is beautiful and i actually like using it more as a blush rather than highlighter which is weird because everyone in the world use it as a highlighter this is a funny story this is a guerlain blush in shade 01 tender aurora and i fell in love with it and they didn't have it in stock and the nice lady from the Guerlain counter that knows me and likes me said, well, you know what, just take the tester. And she just gave me this free of charge, free of anything. And this is like full-sized product. So I'm enjoying that. I'm really liking it for those really subtle daily looks. I have my Milani Luminoso. You know, my favorite, favorite peach um, blush ever. My Max Warm Soul, which... Used to be my favorite, but now the Luminoso kind of won over. I have this Naked Flushed palette, and I have to admit that I am not using it at all. This is why I put it in this drawer, because I want to use it, but I just never do. I don't know why. Um, something about the shade of the bronzer, I don't know. I'm just not feeling very loving towards this product. Of course, my Christian Dior blush in um, rosy glow is it called I don't remember yeah it's rosy glow everyone and their mother loves it and so do I my the most beautiful highlighter you'll ever see of course by Chanel you all saw it it's being well loved by me and as you can see I'm kind of crazy for cheek products and highlighters and stuff um, I have my Mac um, beauty powder in pretty baby which looks on camera as poop and as absolutely nothing but this is the closest thing to the shade of my natural flush when like when i blush naturally this is the shade that my cheeks get so i'm loving this I, it's from a former collection from like three or four years ago and it's going strong, as you can see. I haven't hit pan yet, and I use it all the time. And last but not least, my red beautiful blush by Chanel. Oh, look at this beauty. Um, yeah, all, you all know I'm in love with it. It's the best. Go and buy it. Okay, so we're starting to deal with the heavy guns and <laughs> the big boys toys and this is my eye product drawer. This is the smallest amount of products that I can deal with on a day-to-day -day basis when I do my eye makeup and this is why I need a full hour to get ready like hair and makeup. It's crazy, I know, but I cannot help it. So the first thing and probably the most important one is this MAC quad that I have. I've assembled, I've decided that I'm tired of taking my huge double palette uh, of MAC shadows with me everywhere. I just took out the shades that I use the most with any look that I do and this is Mylar, which is the best highlighter ever if you want a subtle glow. Nylon, which is the best highlighter if you want a glittery glow. Um, Samoa Silk, which is my blending shade. And Smut, which is my get the outer corner of your eye darker shade that I use on almost any look. And this is the palette that I take with me no matter what other shades or palettes I'm taking. So this will always be in my makeup bag. The next is actually a palette by Guerlain. It's a limited edition from 2009. I bought it on a blog sale. Look how pretty this is. It's all those shades that are suitable for autumn. The reds and the plum shades and all those orange ones. It just looks like an autumn leaf. Um, here in this area I have my eye pencils and eyeliners and mascaras. So the first one is the Lancome Art Liner and I don't know I'm not falling in love with this product I was sure that I'm gonna love it but I just am not um, I'll do a full review if you want to see a full review of this product please like this video so I know that you're interested and yeah I'll tell I promise to tell you everything I think about this one I have my bourgeois max maximum definition mascara which I'm not liking at the moment 
my Maybelline The Falsies, which I'm loving and it's almost ran out. I have my Clarence Black Liner, which I love. It's called Instant Liner 01 Black. Um, this is the blackest black you'll ever find, I think. Of course, I have my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which you all know that I prefer the silver one, but they didn't have it in stock, so I took the golden one, and it's not as good, I think. I have a little sample of Le Volume de Chanel by Chanel, which I adore. I have my two cream um, eyeshadow sticks from Bobbi Brown, which I got recently. I have my MAC um, chromographic pencil for my waterline, which I didn't find a better solution for this. I have some um, mascara little samples, which I keep here because when I pack my makeup bag for on the go, I just take stuff from these drawers and then I just know to take one of those little mascaras and use them up. I have my black coal liner by Jade and my coffee by MAC. My two unopened mascaras by Givenchy and Chanel. I keep them here because I don't know why. I have my Ingla gel liner in number 77, which is black, which is my favorite gel liner. And I'm kind of feeling sad because it's getting a little bit drier and goopier, which makes me sad, as I said. I have this amazing Chanel Quad in Mustier. I've talked about it and raved about it and even done a tutorial, I think, and if not, I can do. Um, this is great. This is for day-to-day, -day, smoky eye, amazing. I love it. My Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, you know that I cannot live without it. And actually, this and my little quad that I assembled um, are for different purposes, so I'm really happy that I have both. I have my little Bobbi Brown eyeshadow, the gold glitter one, which helps me to perk up any day look to night look. I have this purple Kiko eyeshadow, which I got as a present from my cousin, and I really, really like it. So, Han, if you're watching, thank you very much. It's been really helpful. And here, as you can see, I have a row of cream products, paint pots, gel products that I use as bases. So I have two MAC um, gel fluid lines, I, one in Macro Violet and one in Stars and Speculations from the, their latest collection. One is purple and of course you can't see anything. And one is kind of mossy green. I use them as bases under eyeshadows and they work really great. I have my painterly paint pot and my bare study paint pot which are always with me. They're my basics. I have my Bobbi Brown cream um, eyeshadows. One in sandy gold and one in moonstone which moonstone you know is my all-time favorite hands down and here here is another example of a product that I keep here because I want to use it up and I just don't reach for it this is my Bobbi Brown cake liner in black I just don't get along with it I don't really know why but I just don't the final drawer is lip products and yes I have a problem. I'm fully aware that this is too much for just one person to be using on a day-to-day -day basis, but I swear I use all of these products. So let's get into it. So I have a little lip balm. It's the MAC Prep and Prime. I have it right here. I also have this little sampler that I got of the Bobbi Brown lip balm, and I think I'm actually liking it better than my Dior Creme de Rose, so I might be not repurchasing the Dior one and buying the um, Bobbi Brown one. Here I have all my glosses, I have my Dior Lip Maximizer, I have a Revlon one, uh, a Guerlain, two, a couple of MACs, and I have one by NARS, which is their orgasm one. Here, this is the section of more of red and dark toned lip products. I have my Chanel number no. 40, which is a great red. I have 
my um, Lustring by MAC. Most of these are MAC because, I, as you know, I love MAC products, MAC lip products. Lady Bag and Russian Red. I have a couple of new ones to me. Uh, I have Rebel, which is great, Diva and Violetta. They are all really, really bold colors. Um, I have my favorite Chanel gloss right here. This is in the shade 119. Um, I love it. It's it's pre the prettiest for day to day. I have this really shiny and sparkling one from Guerlain, which is an early birthday gift. And yes, my birthday is in January and I've started getting um, gifts, so that's really nice. Here, all this row is more of a day appropriate lips, like I have my lip butter in um, Juicy Papaya. I have a couple of Chanel ones. I have my favorite, favorite everyday nude lipstick by Estee Lauder. A couple of MACs, which you all know that Viva Glam 5 is in here, my Angel. Um, two lip products that I like to layer, which one of them is the Who's That Chick from the Rihanna collection and the second is Flare for Finery, which is from their latest um, collection and this I bought in, from an inspiration I got from Jaclyn Hill, as always. And Syrup, which is the prettiest lipstick ever, is the final one. And this is, guys, my makeup collection. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you really soon. Bye!